Hi guys, and welcome to day four of the sketchbook challenge. Can I still call it a sketchbook challenge if I don't upload on the weekends? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even sure what the rules are there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, today I'm uh, painting with watercolors in my uh, in my Mossery sketchbook. And these are the Jane Davenport uh, Bright Palette colors. And I love them so much. They're so bright. And I wanted the bright palette instead of the neutral palette so that I would have all the bright colors because it's easier to mute bright colors than it is to make a bright color out of a muted color. Like you can always go darker, but you can't really go lighter once something's too dark, you know? So uh, I've really been enjoying working with these and I, I think I've gotten, I've gotten better at uh, mixing the more muted colors that I need. So yeah, so today I just wanted to draw a face because I haven't um, really drawn a, a close-up of a face in a really long time and it's my favorite thing to do. It's the one thing that I always go back to and like when I don't feel like drawing, I know that I can pretty much make a face that I'll be proud of um, whenever I m make something that I don't particularly like and I feel like I've lost my touch, <laughs> I'll just draw a face and feel better about myself. So that's a fun cheat. <laughs> I still wasn't really sure about how much water that these um, pages in a sketchbook could actually take, so it was kind of an experiment because I like to do a lot of layering with my watercolors because I'm always too afraid to put down a, a color that's too dark right off the bat. I start really light and then I'll paint the same area several times, which can be really boring to watch, so I cut a lot of stuff out and I hope that's okay. And also I drew the sketch before I... Uh, started filming just because I'm I'm really bad at drawing on camera <laughs> so I I just uh, went ahead and drew the sketch and then I just filmed myself painting it and I hope that's okay too <laughs> so I, I don't really think it's a big deal that I don't upload on the weekends even though it's a like a 30-day challenge just because I'm such a small channel and so new to YouTube, it's really just more of a personal project to see if I can upload once a week for a month, because it's uh, it's been, you know, kind of kind of difficult for me so far. But I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, and I really appreciate all the comments that I've been getting on my page. Somebody left a comment on my day two video. But for some reason, um, YouTube won't let me respond to it. I see it in my notifications, but it, when I go to that uh, video on my channel, it says I have zero comments, but I know that it's there and I really saw it. And I appreciate it so much to the person who left that for me. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I couldn't respond to you. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube. I'm, I'm really new to it. And I'm not sure if I did something wrong or if there's just like a glitch on that video. So I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't respond, but I did see it and I do appreciate it so much. The reason I didn't want to do um, like a 30 day in a row is just because I get so overwhelmed all the time and I'm sure that a lot of people do. Like I don't want to stress my ass and myself out too much and there's other things that I do that that really takes time and I think it's important to have uh, at least one day a week where you sleep in and you take care of yourself and you read and you know <laughs> just do all the things. Go out and get some fresh air, you know, spend time with friends, like that's so important. People should schedule stuff like that because it's just as important as all the little errands that you have to get done. You have to take care of your mental health so that you'll be more creative and you, you know, you'll get more done that way. You'll be more productive if you take time for yourself and do the little things that make you happy. So I think that's really important and I think a lot of people forget that, like it's not, it's not a bad thing to take care of yourself, even if that means you just stay in bed all day. You know, you, if you need that, then do it. <laughs> and yeah, so about the painting, I guess. Um, I just really wanted to draw a girl with leaves and stuff in her hair. <laughs> Which, you know, that's what sketchbooks are for. Like, whenever I don't know what to draw, I'll just go onto Pinterest and uh, 
search for like uh, spring flowers or something and then whatever pops up I'll I'll use that and kind of use it uh, in whatever I'm working on just little things that I can add in to make it more fun for me and I really like how this one turned out I didn't mean for her hair to be so dark but I'm really happy with it and I didn't I wasn't sure how the colored pencils would work on this paper, but it turned out okay. I was really happy with the end result, but my favorite part is at the end when I add all the white highlights. Like, it, it doesn't look great up until that point, I don't think, and then as soon as you add the highlights, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> so I, I usually always like things at the end. Uh, I, I rarely like things from the beginning, um, but at the end I'm usually pretty happy. And I think that as an artist, to, you know, give yourself a lot of slack is important for, well, I'm not good at wording these things, <laughs> but uh, I like my art and it makes me sad when artists don't like what they make all the time and all they talk about is how much they don't like it and they hate how this came out and they feel like they're not going to get any better and you know you're doing your best and your art's doing its best <laughs> i always think of my art as like a pet like you don't want to be mean to it or it's not going to you know it's not gonna want to be around you <laughs> <laughs> that sounds really stupid, but I've always felt of it felt like that. I've always felt like it was something else besides me. Like it, it's not me. It's it's like a pet. I don't know, <laughs> but I try to be really uh, forgiving with myself when I'm making art because if we beat ourselves up too bad, then we're gonna make less art and it should really be fun. If it's not fun, then what's the point of making it? And I don't, I don't really subscribe to the, you know, the suffering artist. <laughs> I think that happy artists make a lot more art and a lot better art. <laughs> um, sorry if that offends anybody, but, uh, but I think that happier people make um, happier art and even if it's sad or depressing or spooky and ghostly like I make all the time like that's that's my happy art <laughs> happy art can be anything and I think that you make more when you're happy so just uh, take time to take care of yourselves so I don't know if any of that at all made any sense whatsoever but uh, if you take away anything from this I hope it's just that um, it's okay to take care of yourself and everything will be okay. <laughs> it's just art. It's, uh, it's all gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, so now that I've made my most rambly video so far of the history of my channel, I think I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of the comments you left on my last video. It's so motivating and and I, I love it. <laughs> I love all the comments and thank you so much to the couple of new subscribers that I got. I really appreciate it and all of my uh, social media links and the materials that I used are going to be in the description box below and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with another one. <laughs> thank you. Bye.